Hello and welcome back again in the Sheet Metal Workshop. And in this video, I have a presentation about a swap mounts machine. And uh, it's a, a beading machine made by swap mounts in combination with uh, Makita. Uh, so it's taught for making swages on pipelines. And it's here, it comes here complete here, as you can see in a suitcase. And what we have here, we have here uh, five ampere batteries, two, two pieces. Uh, there comes a holder for the scuffle, so we can make it fast on a, on a, on a, on a, on a scuffle. Uh, it comes with two pairs of wheels, and those two pairs of wheels, uh, it's the, uh, the V1 and the V3. So these are two sizes, a small and a big size. Uh, so these are the two pairs. Now, standard, it comes with these special wheels, so um, this is just to show a difference. These are the standard wheels, like normal on all swap machines are. And this here with the ribble on it, comes standard with the machine. So it, it's better uh, by swaging on freehand, it will pull the metal by itself and it's got then more power. It's, you don't have problems by slipping material. So standard, it comes with riffle wheels. And these are just, I show a difference. Okay, well, this is going to be a presentation video. We're going to see uh, what this machine can do. I will try everything I know about it. And if there are any questions, of course, you can put it in the, in the, in the comments. Now, further, we have also here, we got an inbus key for changing the wheels. It's all there. And we have here another grip in case, you know, you can maybe some big material to swage it and you can hold it with two hands. Uh, so this is also optional. It's everything there here in the suitcase. So I'm gonna give you a good, hopefully a good video, trying to test it in all ways I can. So I hope you will enjoy the video. So let's get started. Now I have here um, zinc material in three different, different thicknesses. And one of them is 0 0.6 millimeter. So this is just here to show that we have actually that material. Oh, wait a minute. 0 0.62. This is 0 0.8 millimeter. It should be eight millimeter, okay, almost. And we have here one millimeter zinc material. So this is also a little bit thicker, one millimeter. Okay, now we're going to use this machine first. What we can, uh, uh, first I would like to show what is possible uh, in freehand. So I, I will recommend always go in one direction. So not switch every time. So you know, always when I put it, it goes always from me, but that's, you have to decide by yourself. So I'm gonna here show you And the swage on 0 0.6. And that is with uh, V1 wheels. And now I have here 0 0.8 millimeter also. You see it, it pulls the material from itself in. And here I have here the swage also. Can also do here different another time. Yeah, so, and one millimeter. It's everything how you, uh, how much you are practicing with this. So this is the switch with on one millimeter. So that's one thing you can do from our free hand. What you also is possible to do out of free hand is uh, I want to make a swage here in this piece of pipe. Now, of course, normally I need three hands. Yeah, so I can put it somewhere on the ground and tie this up. So once you have it, grab it. Yeah, 
with no problem. So I'm gonna tie that up a little bit more. So this is actually a female switch. And now we're gonna make a male switch just to connect it, just to show that it works. Of course, I'm gonna put now for the female switch, I'm gonna do it like this and now I'm gonna put it like this. Tie it up. Okay, that's it. And now we're gonna to see if it fits. Normally it should fit easily. See. And it's stuck real tight, so no problem. Uh, it's close up, very good to see. So these are the things you can do by free hand. Now I'm gonna show you also other stuff. There is also here this metal. I can make it also free hand. Now I have here for myself here, put in a, a, a spot. So when I push it down, I know exactly how deep it's possible to go. Eh? So see, it's just to have an orientation. So I'm gonna try now here by two hands. Here I go very slow now. It's all a matter of feeling. See? You can really control it real good. Otherwise you can, like I've mentioned at the start of the video, you can also put the additional and then make it with two hands. So this is one thing what I wanted to show with three hands and the other stuff I like to show is also there are other wheels so if the standard wheels are not enough the V1 and the V2 there is also other wheels with other sizes and I like to show them yeah, so we have here also for example a V0 a V0 and these are standard sizes from all Swatman machines uh, for example, I have here the original big wheel from the big machine. And if I put them together, you can see these are actually the same sizes. Same sizes. Eh? This is the upper wheel and same thing with the under wheel. So these are exactly the same diameters and same sizes. Only the wheels are for the smaller and for the bigger machine. For the BD and for the normal SM56 machine. So we have also here got these flat wheels. Flat wheels also are additional. You can uh, order them additional. And what we also have is here those crimping wheels. And also we got here, like I've said here, different sizes, bigger, bigger wheels and all uh, numbered. So we have here number five, we have here number four, number two. We have here number one and there's also number three. So these are actually now the wheels you can order additionally. And standard, like I've said, is coming V1 and V3 is coming with the, the machine itself. Okay, we're going to continue testing the machine also with other stuff now. So, and therefore I'm going to show you how to change those wheels. I'm gonna put in uh, V0. A little bit smaller wheels, so just to show how it works to change it. So let's get start changing. Now 
Now, these wheels are always fixed on, fixed on each other, so you don't have to move or change anything. These are already set up. Just put on the wheels and start swaging. Okay, now after we have put on those smaller wheels, I like to show you can also make smaller metal. See, by making a swage in a circle with 0 0.6 thickness, and we have also 0 0.8 thickness, also is possible to make. See, a swage around with no problem. What I also can do is I can move here the slide a little bit, a little bit to backwards. For example, at 15 millimeters. Oh. So I have it here on 15 millimeter. And I can also do it the same with smaller diameter so. and also with the digger thicker 0 0.8 that's it so these are also additional things you can do with it and yeah let's continue testing further stuff so what I'm now going to show is uh, how to put here this uh, on the scuffle and for that we're going to put out here those two screws and put it in so I'm just gonna change it Okay, now it's done, it's good on the scuffle, and let's continue testing this machine. Okay, so now the next thing what I'm going to show is how to switch a small diameter. So I'm only gonna switch one part of a band, I'm not gonna complete the whole band, it's just to show how it works with swaging it. So first I'm gonna do the female switch. So it depends on how deep I press the bottom. If I really press it deep, it goes faster. Okay, and that's the female swage. And now I'm going to put here in on this side a male swage. Okay, that's the male switch, and let's put them now together. So, a minute, just.
So that's the mail swage now, put it in. And as you can see, it's really closed up the swage. So that's one thing I wanted to show. And now we go back also to the pipe here. What I've done before, I just want to show another combination also. So I'm gonna do the slide 15 millimeters from here, from the edge. And also put in here a swage. One minute, okay. So that's also I wanted to show and later on I will go here with the crimping wheel screw. Okay, well, now the next thing what I'm going to do is well, the small swage wheels and I'm going to change them back on some bigger wheels, maybe the V3 or V4. We will see where they are. So I'm going to change those wheels now and then we continue. So now I have here two segments of a segment bend, a starter segment and a middle segment, and this is 0 0.8 millimeter on sink. And now I'm going to swage it with swage number, wheels number four. Oh, I have to make hold on this. So, and again. So I noticed by squeezing it, pressing the metal, it's a little bit harder than with 0 0.6 because this is thicker material. Okay, well, this is then the female swage. And now we're going to continue to put on, on this side, a male swage. Okay. So I have to say, there's a difference between, between those thick material and thinner material. And now we're going to put those segments together. Like I've said, I'm not gonna complete the whole band. This is just an example of swaging it. Okay, and that's it. So here you can now see the result. It's very tied up. Cannot move it. Okay, well, that's what the swaging considers. And 
the next thing what i'm also going to show with those wheels is uh, make a back switch on 50 millimeter okay now i have removed the slide and while i uh, if you want to remove the slide i have take off the upper wheel remove it and put on the wheel back and now i have the possibility sometimes there are pipes with a switch on 50 millimeters back and that is also what i want to show so i'm gonna tie it here up again and once you are practicing this one it goes really good And that's it. Swage done, back swage done with maximum 50 millimeters. Okay, well in the next test, I'm going to show you uh, like pretending someone is holding my machine here, the BD. And so now I have then available two hands. So someone else is pushing the button and now I can uh, like a little bit heavier, one millimeter metal, uh, put in a swage with two hands it could also be a bit larger metal uh, this is just for an example or i just want a serial make a serial of meters so i can put them through the machine and that's what i'm now going to show Okay, so now I have changed crimping wheels. So I've changed now the crimping wheels and I'm going to put them through this, through the pipe. So, and then we will see if it fits together. Okay, and that is how it looks like. And now I'm gonna push the other pipe. See, and that is what I wanted to show. Okay, and the next thing what I wanna show is with the crimping wheels is 0 0.6. I'm gonna write it down. This is 0 0.6 millimeter thickness thickness and now you see it's possible also to make a nice crimping edge oh And done, maybe a little bit. So that's it. Same thing we're going to do with 0 0.8 millimeter. It's a little bit harder, but. We're going to see what we can do with those flat wheels. 
Okay, now I've put in how those flat wheels and I'm not going to show how to switch a, a, a T-pipe or something else because the pressure isn't enough, but it's also, I'm gonna show you something else. It's also possible to make, to beat it for 90 degrees, see? So now I have here a 90 degree bead here on a metal. You never know somewhere on the side you must cover something and you don't have a folding machine so you can do it also like this. And by putting the slide a little bit backwards here I can also make a bigger. And that's it. So now I have here like a Z profile. Eh? So there's some, sometimes there's an edge. You put it in here to cover it here, put some screws in. It's just a possibility I like to show you with the flat wheels. So that's it, everything what I wanted to show about the BD Swatmos machine. Okay, well, thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If there are any questions or anything you want to know, please put it in the comments. And if you are interested to buy this machine, I will put a link also in the description of the video where you can order this machine at Schwartmann's Machines. Now, if you mentioned the code BD5, you will get 5% discount. Okay, don't forget, dump up and see you next time.